Hi, I'm Don. I'm going to show you today how to set up your Knight's Mail to run within Outlook 2007. When you start up Outlook, you'll have your folders, your personal folders, and if you have a Hotmail account, it'll automatically generate a new folder for that. What I want to do is, and what I did do, uh, was set up a a third folder that says Knight's Mail, strictly to keep my Knight's Mail separate from my Hotmail or my Google, Yahoo, or any other email account that I might have. So if I have it in this, it will automatically default to this when you set it up. If I have it in here, uh, all my mail is going to get mixed together and it's going to be very difficult to distinguish which is spam and which is my professors. And there's a bunch of tricks you can do to filter them out and stuff, but I, I prefer to have it just clean, you know, have everything go to its own folder so I can filter it out accordingly later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder here that's going to contain all of my Knight's Mail separately. And to do that, we're going to first go to Tools, Account Settings, and here you'll see where it says Hotmail and Gmail. I want to add a third one that's going to be our Knight's Mail. But first I have to create the folder to put it in right here. So I'm going to go to Data Files, Add, leave it as the Office Outlook Personal Folders file, the very top one, and click OK. Now we're going to type in Knight's Mail. Click OK. Now once again we're going to name it Knight's Mail. Leave the password section blank unless you're sharing your Outlook with somebody else and you don't want them to have access to your account. Um, I just find it to be an annoying but if you are sharing uh, with other people and you don't want them to be able to access your uh, emails without knowing a password, this is this is where you would put it in. It. Click OK. And you'll notice right on your left-hand side, Night Mail, Night's Mail has already popped up. So now we want to add our email account to that Night's Mail folder. So we hit New under the Email tab. Leave it at the POP3 IMAP HTTP for settings. Now we're going to type in our information as we want the professor to see it. All right, your Knight's Mail email. Uh, I know this might seem a little tedious, but you have to set it up first. You have to go to the website and make sure that you've already set it up. Uh, set up your Knight's account. It is not your default UCF logins, the 2PID and the NID. So you got to get set up that separately before you can even get to this step. Uh, once you get to this point, your email address, which is whatever you've created at knightsmail.ucf.edu, then hit manually configure settings and hit next. Leave it at internet email. Once again, spell your name as though you want the professor to read it. Your Ad, email address is that of your Knight's Mail, obviously, so you're going to type in whatever you have picked for your Knight's Mail. For me, it's Don Richards at knights.ucf.edu. It's going to be POP3. Underneath that, you're going to type in pop3.live.com. Underneath that, on the outgoing mail server, you're going to type in smtp dot live dot com under your username it's your username right here is the same as your email address so for me it's Don Richards at knights dot UCF dot edu and then enter in your password and hit more settings now I like to change this to keep it as clean as possible so I'll change this to Knight's Mail. Alright, under Outgoing Server, check the box right here on My Outgoing Server SMTP Requires Authentication. Make sure you check that. And under Advanced tab, um, the best configuration I've found is by checking this box. This server requires uh, encryption connection SSL. When you check that, this will automatically your POP3 connection will automatically change to 995 on your outgoing server SMTP. You're going to set this drop down uh, encryption to auto. Um, after that, you're going to want to come down here where it says uh, 
delivery, you want to leave a m copy of the message on the server. Uh, this will alleviate any problems if your computer dies. You still have a copy of your email saved on their server so you can access it through uh, live.com's website. Um, but if you want to be able to still delete uh, the emails and have them gone after you've deleted them, uh, just click the little checkbox down here and this is what I suggest is remove from server when you've deleted it. So when you hit delete inside of Outlook it will automatically delete on their servers. Um, this is something to pay very close attention to when you delete an email because once you delete it, it is gone. Click OK. Now click Next and Finish, but do not close this window. This is very important. Uh, at this point in time, we need to redirect because right now this night's mail is going to the personal folder inbox. So we're going to go and highlight night's mail, then click Change Folder, and then hit the plus next to night's mail right here. You're going to hit that, and it's going to highlight Night's Mail, and you're going to hit New Folder. Now type in Inbox, and click OK. Now highlight the Inbox, and click OK. Now you'll hit Close, and now all of your Night's Mail will come here. So if I hit Send and Receive, all right, and now you'll see that my uh, email has been received in my Knights email folder strictly. This does not include any of my other accounts strictly, just my Knights mail will come to this one folder. And I hope this was helpful to you. And uh, if you guys have any questions, shoot me an email.